Welcome back to this class. In this class, we are going to see some topics from unit number 12, Physical Photochemistry. I hope you are all studying well for the exam. So develop the self-confidence by solving more and more number of questions. The next sessions, I will give you more and more number of questions. In this unit, in this session, we will see Jablansky diagram. This diagram explains about the excitation process of the organic molecules during the photochemical process it excites to the from the ground electronic states to the higher electronic states and the deactivation process there are various kinds of deactivation processes radiative transitions and non radiative transitions are there we will see these processes in this sessions before that we will clarify one things this is the electronic level ground electronic level in this electronic level there are vibration levels are there this is the v is equal to 0 is the ground vibration level v is equal to 1 is the first excited state vibration level v is equal to 2 is the second excitation vibration level like that it will go one more thing is that in between each vibration level there are so much of rotation levels are there but the energy gap between the rotation levels are very narrow so we are not discussing here but this s states s is s naught is the singlet electronic states singlet electron it means the total spin total spin multiplicity of the electrons in the organic molecules s means the electrons are paired when you calculate the total spin multiplicity by using the formula 2s plus 1 the spin of the electron is half when you calculate for of the paired electron we will get the one for singlet states and when you calculate for the triplet states the electrons are unpaired for two electrons if they are two and unpaired electrons when you calculate you will get a 3 so it will give the triplet excited states from the excitation of the electron from the ground states to the higher electronic level here it will go move from the s0 states to the s2 states at the vibration level v is equal to 3 it relaxes to the ground vibrational level v is equal to 0 from the higher excited states higher vibrational level to the ground state vibration level during the process of internal conversion, IC means the internal conversions, it moves from the ground vibration level to the S1 states of the higher vibration level. So during the internal conversions, it moves from the S singlet states to the singlet states. So it is spin allowed. Singlet, the both are singlet states, it is spin allowed. But the ground state of the S2 states to the higher levels of the S1 states. But here also it relaxes to the ground vibration level. From here there are two possibilities are there. From S1 states it moves to the ground electronic level by using the term called fluorescence. Or it can move to the triplet excited states by using the process called inter-system crossing. But here for the moment of S1 state to the T1 state the spin states are changing. That means from the single states to the triplet states so it is not an allowed process so um, but here during the fluorescence it moves from the s1 states to the s0 states so it is allowed but there are possibilities are the s1 states to the t1 state by using the inter-system crossing here also to the higher vibrational level so it relaxes to the ground vibration level but here if this from the vibration level of the t1 states it moves to the uh, ground electronic level by using the process called fluorescence. So there are three terms are uh, internal conversions, inter-system crossing, fluorescence and phosphorescence we have learned today. Learn here. There are two possibilities of deactivation process are there. Intramolecular processes and intermolecular processes. In the intramolecular processes, it can undergo radiative transitions and non-radiative transitions non-radiative transitions in the intramolecular process radiative transitions are fluorescence and phosphorescence these are the two processes in radiative transitions so they are collectively called as luminescence in radiative transitions in non-radiative transitions here in non-radiative transitions no emission of electromagnetic radiation succumb is the deactivation processes during the non-radiation, there is no emission of electronic radiations. And in the other way, the inter intermolecular process. In the intermolecular processes, there are three processes are there. 
vibrational relaxation it relaxes to the vibrational levels using the inter, inter, intermolecular processes and the energy transfer that means it can transfer the extra energy to the other molecule in the, in the system by by giving and the other process is electron transfer it can transfer the electron with the kinetic energy so the energy is dissipated so the overall process is explained as the photochemical kinetics of the unimolecular processes are from the absorption of photons it moves from the singlet electronic level to the s2 state during the excitation processes from the s2 states during the internal conversion it moves to the s1 state and the heat is emitted as extra energy is emitted as heat and from the s1 states during the inter inter-system crossing processes it moves to the t1 state and the extra energy is dissipated as heat and the, in the fluorescence process from the s1 states it moves to the s0 states and the extra energy is removed as fluorescence from the t1 states there are two possibilities t1 states it moves to as a phosphorescence moves to the ground electronic level s0 level and the extra energy is dissipated as phosphorescence and here also other possibilities from t1 state it can also move to the s0 state by inter-system crossing instead of phosphorescence it will also emit as heat it is called the reverse inter-system crossing this process is called reverse inter-system crossing and one more important things we will see here is quenching processes when you add the quencher, quencher to this system the fluorescence is quenched the fluorescence is quenched and the amount of quenching is calculated from the stern volmer equations so qf is the quantum effic efficiency of the fluorescence and qf naught is the in the absence of the quencher so psi f psi f is the quantum efficiency of efficiency of the fluorescence in the absence of the quencher efficiency of the fluorescence in the presence of the quencher and kf is the rate of the fluorescence and sigma ki is the is the sum of the rate constant this is the sum of the it is the sum of the rate constants of all the unimolecular, unimolecular deactivation processes there are so much of deactivation process that we have seen the earlier so that is ki is the deactivation sum of rate constants of all the deactivation process and kq psi is q is the is the rate of the quencher rate of the quenching process and q is the concentration of the quencher and so kf is the radiation fluorescence rate of the fluorescence sigma k is also the sum of the rate constants of all the unimolecular processes so now